having said that today we're going to look at first thessalonians chapter 4 from verse 13 to 18 because we are looked at 1 to 12 last night please look for the video for last night and we're going to look at this one just briefly and that will be it we thank the intercessors who have stood in the gap father in heaven we sanctify today by the blood of yeshua we redeem it from anything that is negative lord we secure today as the opening date of open gates 2022 have your way while the world is embroiled in politics and religion the remnant gather to hear from you to receive directions for the way forward let your name be exalted in yeshua's name we pray amen and amen in first Thessalonians chapter 4 the lord began to unpack through paul the apostle vital issues that have to do with the end he says in verse 13 but i will not have you to be ignorant brethren concerning them which are asleep that you sorrow not even as others which have no hope he says i don't want you to be ignorant concerning those who already gone on because the people were kind of asking what's going on yeshua said he wants to his father's house to go and prepare mansions for us to come and take us one year he had no return two years no return three years he had no return ten years no return so the question was what's going on so paul the apostle the lord gave him revelation to tell them that yeshua what he spoke about there was time frame about what yeshua spoke about when he will gather for the mansions and that's what he now began to say to them the process if you want to understand this process you go to first corinthians chapter 15 from verse actually from about verse 40 all the way to 58 you see the context the same thing in 50 to 55 which is saying here he says listen verse 14 for if we believe that yeshua died and rose again even so them also which sleep in yeshua will elohim bring with him you see yeshua was like a kind of first fruits and a man died and resurrected he said hey what happened to yeshua will happen to the believers but then he came in with additional information and that is from verse 15 for this we say unto you by the word of the lord for this we say unto you by the word of the lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the lord shall not prevent them which are asleep that there will be two types of people brothers and sisters concerning the return of the lord the aspect of the return that is here is the one called the rapture of saints and the first resurrection this is the one he's talking about there are two aspects of return of the lord one is when yeshua will return physically to vanquish the armies of the antichrist and satan will be chained for a thousand years and yeshua will rule for one thousand years on earth in what is called the millennial reign and he rule with us as co-heirs but before then paul was talking about something that will happen seven years pre before that time and if you don't understand the time frame of the bible as many so-called end time prophecies did in time past they ended up confusing the people because they didn't understand the implied timeline of the lord so here he's talking about the return as at what will happen seven years before the battle of Armageddon, when the armies of the antichrist and the false prophet will be defeated and then satan will be bound and yeshua will become the king of kings and lord of lords over the entire atrium in a physical way before then seven years before this is what will happen those who are alive and remain unto the coming of the lord will not prevent them which are asleep these are those who are asleep those who are dead these are those who are alive so what will happen a day will come he says hey when this event happened those who are alive will not just go prevent their means proceed so there's something is coming to tell us which is very important verse 16 for the lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout 
with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of Elohim, and the dead in Yeshua will rise first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet with the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord, wherefore comfort one another with these words. Now, I want to explain, this is so important. Remember, the Lord is not coming at this point to come and rule and reign. This is not the second coming of the Lord. This is what is called the rapture of saints. People are saying, is there a word in the Bible? The word as it is, is not in the Bible, but the concept is in the Bible. The word was just used to describe the concept. And what is the concept? That those who are dead in Yeshua, dead in the grave, their bodies have decomposed. You know, you put a body, a body is made up of water majorly, and then the bones, calcium. If you put somebody in the ground without embalming that person, after some weeks, the whole thing decomposes because water gets off. What will remain is the bones. And so on that day, when the trump of the archangel will sound, and the voice of the Lord will sound, the Lord is coming to take his own up. So those who died, died in Christ, they rise first, they respond first. Why? The seal of Holy Spirit that was upon every believer when you give your life to Christ is a seal that will identify those who are in public cemeteries, those who died in plane crashes and they're in the sea, those who died on Mount Everest, those who died in valley, who died in accidents, it doesn't matter what. On that day, you see a mass all over the world. People will rise from the grave and they'll be given a new body. A celestial body that is like the body of Yeshua when he rose from the dead, a body that cannot die again, they will receive it in an instant of time, and then as it happens, simultaneously, or immediately after that, really, those who are alive, if it happens now, we are raptured up, we are taken up, change in a moment, from a mortal body to an immortal body, from flesh to to a spiritual body with which we are going to live forever. It is that body we are going to go with up to meet the Lord and go for first the judgment seat of Yeshua where our works will be evaluated then we will spend seven years in the heavenly realm seeing the glory of this heaven that has been spoken about, sang about we will see that, enjoy it leading to what is called the marriage supper of the Lamb in Revelation 19 and after which Yeshua will begin to return with us. Begin to return to reclaim the earth realm. Then as we move up, the dead first, and those alive second, you know what? In the earth realm, chaos will break loose. In the earth realm, things will go off course. Can you imagine aircraft pilots who are born again, raptured? What will happen? The plane begins to carry in in cars, in commercial vehicles, in train, speed trains, those who are born again, raptured up, there will be confusion in the world. It is that confusion that will, that is going to occasion the emergence of the Antichrist, the man of sin. And mind you, those who are raptured up are those who are earnest for the Lord. They are watching, they are praying, they know it's the ultimate of their Christian experience, and they are ready for it like the wise virgins. Those who were not waiting, not watching, not watching their lives, those who were busy with the world will remain behind. And that is why when the Antichrist emerges, two classes of people on earth will be the chief target of his heir. It's going to be Christians who were not raptured and Israel, the Jews. These are the people who suffer during the great tribulation. So for the first three and a half years, he will be like a nice ruler who is just going to stabilize a world that is confused. Then in in the middle of that period, he go to Jerusalem on a state visit, and then the temple, that's where he will now manifest himself and claim to be the God of Israel. They say, no, you are not our God. And then he will get angry, and the great tribulation will start. A period, Yeshua said, will be such as has never been seen before. Even the Holocaust will not match it. Brothers and sisters, so the Lord is saying, hey, there is hope. Listen, brothers and sisters, you are born again. 
no matter what they are going through, hold on to your faith. In fact, it says, comfort one another with these words. Use it to encourage yourself concerning our brethren. This year, past three of our key brethren, you know, left us in IMF. And by the grace of the Lord, we know they are resting the Lord. On that day, they will rise first. And we who are alive and remain shall be turned. So what is it you learn here? One of it is this. The default setting in the heart and mind of every believer should be that this thing will happen in your lifetime. Any time you lose sight of the reality that this thing may happen in your lifetime, the, the chances are that you look away and that's when people miss it. People think backsliding is when people are going to overseeing. Backsliding starts with the day you lose sight that we are on a mission, that we have a span of time and the Lord may return any moment. The day that departs from you, that is the day backsliding actually starts. You can be caught up in politics, as many believers will be caught up in partisan politics. We saw it in the previous years, and it's going to be more in the end time. You can be caught up in partisan politics, you can be caught up in religion, you can be caught up in entertainment, you can be caught up in so many things that will make you to lose sight. Because Yeshua is coming for those who are earnest, those who are actually yearning and ready. Those are the people he's coming for. Make up your mind you're going to be one of them because the Lord has proposed you to be one of them. And these words you hear, take them seriously that a day is coming, one day that will redefine the world, one day that will mark the difference between light and darkness, one day that will sum up everything. That day is close by. That day is almost at hand. And the Lord is saying to you, don't wait to be told. That day is at hand, brothers and sisters. We are going to see before we finish this series that Paul also spoke about the great falling away that will precede the day. That falling away is going on now. When from the fourth century, when a man captured the imagination of the church and that man gave the church some nice things. The Lord showed me this morning. The church got some creed. The church got some recognition and respect. And in return, the church lost its identity and lost its way. Fourth century. After 1,700 years, a man is going, two men are going to arise. One, two of them are from the Western world. One will be a political leader. One, a religious leader. These two men, I believe they are on earth, but not yet manifested. What is stopping them from manifestation? The rapture has not happened. The day the rapture happens, these two men will literally arise. It is the mystery of iniquity that is withheld by the presence of the church. And the church is about to be raptured. Is it one year we don't know? Six months we don't know? Two years we don't know? Ten years we don't know? But the Lord wants every true minister to tell the church, to warn every man, whatever you are doing, don't ever lose sight of the reality that a day is coming without warning. The sound of the trumpet will sound and you are either in or not. And that is what Paul now unpacked here. In this evening, before open gate, we are going to unpack maybe about four o'clock. We're going to share with you chapter five to see additional details about this. And then we'll go in tomorrow to Second Thessalonians chapter one. And the next day, Second Thessalonians chapter two, where the main revelation is about the process, and then Second Thessalonians three, and that will be the end of the series. 22 days to prepare for 2022. Brothers and sisters, I believe very strongly that everybody in the church world should get to know that the end is near. The king is coming. Nobody should be in any, mis any mistake about it. If you are aware of this, then the Lord can use you the way it pleases him. The Lord will strengthen you 
the Lord will bless you. We're going to pray now then and make an announcement regarding open gate. Father in heaven, the great I am who I am, have your way, glorify Yeshua HaMashiach. Let no one whom you redeem with the blood lose it at this end time. Let no one be distracted. Let all be like the wise virgins, watching, waiting, praying, occupying. Have your way. Thank you for answering our prayer. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. And amen. Thank you so much for being with us on this program and watching. And we believe you learned something and the Lord bless you. Now it's time to connect with us on our social media platforms. We have a daily live stream on Facebook, Monday, all the way to Sunday, every day, by about 10.30 a.m. UK time. And that's the same at Nigerian time. And you, it's either Apostle George, Monday to Friday, uh, to Thursday, Pastor Grace, uh, Friday to Sunday. And then in the evening of Sunday, we have two sessions from 5.30 to about 6, after 6, another one up to 7. So please join us on the live stream and you're going to enjoy it. We also visit our website, www.gsom.ac, to download free ebooks. This course you just listened to, all these lessons, you know, there's an ebook. We have free of charge. Everything we do is free. But more importantly, you can actually do your program on, you know, ebooks. You can do your program entirely on ebooks and with this video or anyone you want. You can also, if you want to do the yes course or be, do the master class, you can go to www.kingdomboostclub.com and you can subscribe so that you can do it. You can also subscribe to our channels. This YouTube, gsom.tv and we also have a Telegram channel, gsom media. You can send us an email at akclife.tv at gmail.com. We love you dearly and we want to partner with you to make sure that the body of Yeshua, Jesus, is empowered with truth. Remember, it is the teach, train, equip, activate, and release paradigm. Absolutely free of charge. Have a blessed day and we'll see you again soon.